Hi, I'm Alexis with Plano Public Library. Today we're going to be making a seismograph using everyday supplies. Then we will conduct an experiment that mimics what it's like to study an earthquake. We can learn a lot about how the Earth's crust moves by measuring its vibrations. Let's take a look at the tools scientists use to measure earthquakes. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground caused by movements within the Earth's crust or from volcanic activity. Scientists study these movements to better understand earthquakes so that we can be better prepared for when one happens. They use tools like a seismograph to measure and record the details of an earthquake so that we know the intensity and duration of them when they happen. STEAM concepts help develop your child's cognitive and critical thinking skills. Today's experiment focuses on the science of earthquakes and the engineering of machines to measure them. The Earth's crust is constantly in motion. However, not all of these movements are big enough for people to feel. Small earthquakes happen all the time, but they often don't do any damage. However, bigger earthquakes can cause a lot of damage and be catastrophic, so it's important to know when they might happen. We can measure the vibrations of an earthquake by using a seismograph. A seismograph is an instrument used to measure the motion of the ground during an earthquake. Seismographs are very sensitive and can detect movements in the Earth's crust from very far away. This lets us know how often the earthquakes are happening and how strong they are. Seismographs are typically anchored tight to the ground with a heavy weight hanging from the frame. When the ground moves, the frame of the seismograph moves with it, but the weight does not, since it is not touching the ground. These movements allow the seismograph to produce a seismogram, which tells us how strong an earthquake is. The strength of an earthquake is measured on the Richter scale. This scale ranks earthquakes from 1 to 10, with 1 being a weak earthquake and 10 being a very strong one. Now that we know how seismographs work, let's try and make our own. You will need a cardboard box, string, paper, a plastic cup, a marker, tape, scissors, and coins or other small objects to use as a weight. Download our handout for a list of supplies and for step-by-step -step instructions. Make sure your marker is in the center of the page and then grab a friend to help you with your experiment. Shake the box back and forth on the table while your friend pulls the paper through the slits in the box. The marker should be making marks on the paper. Pause and then try shaking the box at a different speed to see what happens. Once your seismograph is built, try experimenting with different speeds. What did the lines look like when you shake the box gently? What did they look like when you shake the box quickly? Can you tell what speed you were shaking the box by looking at your paper? Could you tell when you paused? For more STEAM connections, visit the Plano Library Learns blog at planolibrarylearns.org.